Hey everybody, it's me PJ back again to do a really quick makeup tutorial. Um, I got a request to do a Kelly Monaco look and I looked up her picture because um, the, the person that requested it didn't send a picture and a lot of her pictures were, she had the similar type makeup going on and it's very simple, simple look. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow. And I'm using the 120 palette. And the colors we will be using are very neutral. It's this cream, which is the one, the second one on the very bottom row. I hope you can see that. And then this um, tan color. I guess it's tan. It's kind of flesh toned. But that, those are the two colors we're going to be using on the eye. And we're going to be using this big eye contour brush to do it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take that light color, the creamy color, and we're going to put it just under the brow bone, underneath the eyebrow and down, drag it down to the crease, like so, I hope you can see this, let me scoot over, then we're going to take and we're going to grab this flesh color, tan, and we're going to go on the eyelid itself, and go up just a little past the crease very neutral, neutral colors here. Alright, now I'm going to grab my liquid eyeliner, black liquid eyeliner, and this is the part that kind of takes a little bit of time to see if I can point you because I have to lean to do this. Um, just going to take you can use an eye pencil if you can uh, work with it better. They also have a marker out now, um, but I can't remember the name of the company that has it. But they, they have a marker if you're not comfortable with the, um, the brush that comes with the liquid eye. So I usually just start on the outside and work my way in and then go to the inside and work my way back out. And then fill it in until I get them even. And we're going to go all the way into the inner corner. done with the top, I'm going to line the bottom. With the same liquid eyeliner. And um, I found that this liquid liner, if you put it on the waterline, lasts a whole lot longer than if you were to use a pencil to line the bottom waterline. come in the room in a second because he's been running in and out of the house and he doesn't know that I'm recording at the moment. Okay. All right. We are done with the liner 
and I'm going to take just some black mascara. We're going to put mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Just kind of tilt your head back when you're doing the top lashes and wiggle. And pull it outward. Start at the roots, wiggle and pull it out to the tips. And leaning your head back keeps you from accidentally getting black mascara on your uh, eyelid where you've already done your eyeshadow and messing it up. It's not a big deal if you do that. So you can always fix it and put more color back on your eye. Alright. I think I forgot to do the bottom ones on this side. There. And if you have rounder eyes or wider eyes, bigger eyes, you can put a little bit of um, liner underneath just the inside, no, that's not the inside, the outside corner waterline on the top and it will elongate your eyes. It'll also change the shape of your eyes. Um, so now, if I can find it, which is hiding, I got my eyebrow brush and I'm gonna go back to my Parker I am recording please quiet it down some I'm going to grab my 120 palette and we're going to use this muted brown to darken and thicken our eyebrows out what happened, honey? Where's your toothbrush? Go tell Bubby to get your toothbrush for me. Where's your toothbrush? Mama. Go tell Bubby. Because my eyebrows are thinner than hers, and I can't get that exact shape with the eyebrows that I have. But they are thicker through here, and they do go up further out than mine. So I'm just going to darken them out, try to get them to look even, and lift a little right here. And ta-da! If you get too much on it, you can take and wipe your um, eyebrow brush off and go back through it and take any of the excess that's just too much for you off. And you can always go back in with your highlighting color and put more of a highlight on your face, uh, underneath your eyes. Just go back with the light color and put it back under there like that. Um, now, I had to kind of fake the blush color that she's using because she's a lot darker than me and I don't have anything quite that dark. So what I was using was my 120 palette again, and I was just grabbing this um, really, you see that? It's kind of in between a red and a brown. It's bronzy, ready, ready, ready. It's a bronzy reddish color, and I'm just putting it on my 188, and just starting at the apple. If you smile, you can find the apple. And work your way up to your temple. And she has a darker skin tone than me also. 